hello and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about satellites and their functions and which are the satellites that india has launched till now so basically satellite it is an artificial or man-made object which is launched into the space for various purposes like for remote sensing or for weather forecasting and to finding out more information about any planet or any object in the space or for scientific researches. So I'm just giving you a briefing about what is remote sensing. Remote sensing is a process of acquisition of information or when we gather information about any object or any place or any phenomena without coming into physical contact with that object by detecting it and monitoring it. So remote sensing is basically a technique as well as it's a process in which the solar radiations that falls on different objects during the daytime which is on the surface of the earth again gets reflected back into the space. So the radiations which are reflected back into the space is then grasped by the sensors which are there in the remote sensing satellites. So these images are then sent back to the earth stations where they are interpreted. So the data is converted into information and this information is converted into images and digitally represented. Thus, the images which are obtained from the satellites are interpreted in various ways and used in making maps. So for mapping it is highly useful and whatever images which are obtained helps us to understand soils, landforms, land structures, population distribution, land use pattern, man-made objects etc. So this was just a briefing about what is remote sensing. I will be making a detailed video on GIS and remote sensing and its techniques. India's first ever satellite was called as Aryabhat which was named after the 5th century scholar Aryabhat. This satellite was launched on the 19th of April 1975 from the Kapustan Yar which was a Soviet rocket launcher. It was built by ISRO but launched by Soviet. The image of the satellite appeared on Indian rupees banknotes between 1976 to 1997. After the fourth day of its orbiting around in the space, it lost its connection because of some power failure and also after the fifth day, it was re-entered into the Earth's atmosphere and got destroyed in 1992. ISRO has been developing satellites for various countries. It has launched around 431 satellites for 34 countries. Indigenously, it has launched around 150 satellites since 1975. ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, is the chief and the main center for designing, launching, operating and maintaining satellites in India. Initially, ISRO was called as the Indian National Committee for Space Research, which was founded in the year 1962. Under the Department of Atomic Energy, DAE. So the first chairperson was Vikram Sarabhai and by 1969, the National Committee for Space Research became ISRO. Satish Dhawan was the first chairperson who had served the longest term of 12 years in ISRO. He is also known as the father of experimental fluid dynamics research in India. Currently, S. Somnath has been appointed as the chairman of ISRO on the 12th of January 2022. In his tenure, Chandrayaan 3 has been successfully launched to the south pole of the moon. Now let's talk about some of the landmarks of ISRO's accomplishments. In 1979, it launched Bhaskar Sega 1, which was India's first experimental remote sensing satellite, which carried a television and microwave camera. In 1981, Rohini RS was launched. It was India's first satellite launch vehicle. 
Then it was the Arian passenger payload experiment which was launched in 1981. It was the first experimental communication satellite. Then India launched INSAT 1A 1982. It was the first operational multi-purpose communication and meteorological satellite. Then in 1988 IRS 1A was launched. It was the first earth observation satellite of India. INSAT 1B was launched in 1983. It had revolutionized and modernized television, radio and telecommunications of India. Then India launched INSAT 2C 1995 which is still operational. It had television outreach beyond Indian boundaries. Then in 1999 IRSP4 OceanSat was launched by India. It was Earth's observation satellite carrying a multi-frequency scanning microwave radiometer this was the first satellite built for ocean applications and in 2001 technology experimental satellite was launched to test new reactions control systems and orbit control systems then in 2002 kalpana 1 metsat was launched which was named after kalpana chawla it was the first meteorological satellite built by isro in 2003, ResourceSat came, which was the most advanced remote sensing satellite. In 2004, EduSat came, which was India's first satellite for education purpose. Then in 2005, HamSat was launched, which was a micro satellite for radio services for national as well as international communities. Then in 2005, Cartosat 1, which was the first Earth observation satellite. In 2006, it was Insat 4C, which was a geosynchronous communications satellite. So, a geosynchronous satellite is the one which rotates on the orbit of the Earth and its rotation time is equal to that of the Earth. In 2008, India had launched its Chandrayaan 1, which was successful, India's first lunar probe. Then, in 2009, India launched Resat 2, which was the radar imaging satellite. In 2009, India also launched ANUSAT, which was a research microsatellite developed by Anna University. In 2009, India launched OceanSat 2, which collects information and data from the oceans, coastal regions and atmosphere. Then in 2011, India launched YouthSat, which was Indo-Russian Stellar and Atmospheric Satellite. In 2011, India released Megatropics, which was an Indo-French collaborative effort to research water cycle in the atmosphere. In 2012, India launched ReSat-1, which is the first indigenous all-weather radar imaging satellite. Then in 2013, Saral was launched, which was based on radar. It was to collect oceanographic information. In 2013, India also launched GSAT-7, which was an advanced multi-band communication satellite, which was totally dedicated for military purpose. India also launched in 2013 a series of IRNSS, which were seven spacecrafts. In 2013, India also launched its Mars Orbiter mission, MOM. It was India's first Mars Orbiter. In between 2014 and 2016, India had launched its series of IRNSS satellites, which was basically regional navigation satellite systems. Then in 2015, India had launched its AstroSat, which was India's first dedicated multi-wavelength space observatory. In 2016, India launched SCATSAT-1, which was a miniature satellite to give climatic anticipating tornadoes, expectation and tracking services in India. So in 2017, India launched Kato sat 2 d 
which had the highest number of satellites which was 104 satellites launched by a single launch vehicle a nano satellite basically for remote sensing and communication was developed by iit kanpur this was called as jugmo in 2011 In 2018, India had launched a series of GSAT satellites: GSAT 6A, GSAT 11 mission, GSAT 7A, which was basically for communication that offers satellite digital multimedia broadcasting services across several digital multimedia terminals to provide information services to planes when they are flying, as well as for the mobile phones. On 22nd of July 2019 India had launched its Chandrayaan 2 mission to the moon it was a planetary observation mission it had failed to land on the moon by 2019 India had launched Resat 2 BRI which was an earth observation satellite and also for disaster management around 431 satellites have been launched by ISRO by now I have mentioned only the few important ones in my video. So now let's talk about the future missions of ISRO. By the end of 2024, ISRO is going to launch its Gangayaan 2 mission. It is a manned mission. It is India's crewed orbital spacecraft test flight designed to carry around It is to launch a humanoid robot which is called as Vyomitra. Vyomitra is a female looking humanoid robot which will be sent by Gangayaan 2 into the space it is developed by ISRO its function is to carry out and receive all the information and orders sent by the ground station and react according to the environment over there by december 2024 india is going to launch its new mission which is called as Shukrayaan 1 Shukrayaan 1 is a Venus orbiter mission. It is to observe and research and delve into the most scorching planets of the solar system and also unravel all the mysteries which lie beneath the clouds of sulfur. By 2024, India is also going to launch its MOM2 or Mars orbiter mission, Mangalyaan 